questions. Just we had discussion about the very basics. Very basics we, we covered about about the very basics we, we covered related to okay identifiers. Next and after that the Java development environment like uh, we covered sir, identifiers, identifiers concept. Next uh, what what we covered Java development environment, development environment, environment and what is Java technology, Java technology, Java technology. Next and after that data types, data types. Next primitive type casting, primitive primitive type casting. These are things we covered just very basics. But now the next concept what we have to discuss friends sir, erase concept. Erase the most valuable, especially now for the for the exam sake. So Java 8, the people are not concentrating that much. But Java 11, the people are concentrating like anything about this concept, sir. Erase, erase concept. So more concentration must be required. Each and every internal loophole, each and every small minor point also compulsory. You should evade friends. Okay, this is one area not, uh, not too much important for Java 8, but once we are going for Java 11 certification, yes, sir, they are asking about each and every internal loophole also. That's why please take a bit very special care about uh, this ERS concept right here. Okay, sir, now the first, first concept what I have to discuss. Of course, here just I'm not talking now uh, what we call from very basics, what is the definition of ERA and so on. Okay, so can you just uh, the main purpose when we should go for ERA's concept? Can you please tell if I can take index is equal to 10? If I can take index is equal to 10, just uh, we can use X uh, to represent a 10. Just we are using X uh, to represent to represent a 10. Only one, how many variables are there? Can you please confirm? How many, how many variables are there here? I respond, only one. How many values are there? How many values are there? Only one value. So if you want to represent one value, then one variable. So if you want to represent 10 values, then taking 10 variables never be recommended. Remember this. So int x is equal to 10, int y is equal to 20, int r x1 is equal to 10, int x2 is equal to 20, 20. Next int x3, x3 is equal to 30. Like so, if you want to represent 10 values, if you if you go for 10 variable, then it can never be a good programming practice, sir. Remember it very, very carefully, sir. So I want to represent five values. I want to represent five values. If you choose five variables, sir, so then unnecessary readability of the code is going to be down. Remember that. If you want to represent huge number of values, huge number of values by using single variable, then we require to go for what? Here is concept. Are you getting that? Multiple values. I want to represent multiple values by using single variable. If you want to do that, then better to go for what? Here is concept. Everyone in the position to understand when we should go for here is? Yes can hold multiple values if you want to hold multiple values by using single variable then we have to go for array array concept right so take very special care in the array x is equal to new in the array of 10 assume assume that sir can you please tell by using this array how many values we can represent how many how many values we can represent i respond how many values we can represent 10 values we can represent but uh, for all these are 10 values, how many variables I'm using? How many variables I'm using? Only one variable. Only only one only one variable I'm, I'm using, sir. So by using a single variable, we can represent, we can represent multiple values. You know, sir, all these are 10 values. Simply you can represent by using a single variable x. Okay. Sir, your first value, second value, third value, fourth value, like dot dot dot. Multiple values you can represent by using right here. Okay, assume that first value is a 10, second value is a 20, third value is a 30. That, that, that last value is nothing but assume that 100. So all these are multiple values. We can represent by using how many variables, right? Only one variable. Automatically, readability of the code by default is going to be improved. Then immediately you may ask, sir, if 10 values are there, but you are using single variable, how you can differentiate? This is the first value, this is the second value, third value, like anyone, can you please tell? 
how you can differentiate this is the first value second value third value by using index by using index so x of 0 means x of 0 represent first element sir x of 1 represent second element this is 0 and 1 is nothing but index by using index concept we can differentiate elements remember this one sir so what is the advantage of rs concept is we can represent multiple values by using single variable readability of the code is going to be improved remember that readability of the code is going to be improved improved but uh, the main here there is some problem is there with the rs concept some limitations are there with the rs concepts are what are those limitations just observe that the first limitation it can hold only homogeneous elements homogeneous elements correct or not homogeneous elements means single single same same type of elements only suppose if it is inferior a you can store one int values you can store one int values you can store double values you can represent boolean values like so array concept applicable only for homogeneous same data type elements okay first one second one sir sir size is always fixed Regarding size is always fixed. Once we create an array with the size 10, with the size 10, the size is always fixed, sir. Sir, I want to represent 11th element. Sorry, not possible. If you represent only two elements, then the remaining eight memory locations will be wasted. Remember, based on our requirement, you can't increase the size, you can't decrease the size. So size is always fixed. This is the second limitation for the arrays concept. So, if any person is asking, array, what are various limitations for arrays? First limitation, it can hold only homogeneous element. Second limitation, size is always fixed. Remember that size size is always always fixed based on our requirement you can't increase the size you can't decrease the size so these are the limitations right to fix to fix these limitation next level we have to go for collections concept remember this one so collections collections concept there array list linked list like collections concept we require to go for there we can fix all these problems any doubt all the people are in the position to understand so it is all these things are basic introduction basic things from our childhood onwards you know these things right that's why i can use the word array is yeah an array here observe that an array is is yeah indexer collection an array is an indexer collection fixed number a fixed number a homogeneous fixed number a homogeneous data elements homogeneous homogeneous data elements elements like that. so now if you if you consider in this line all the three things you can you can see it is yarn indexer collection of yarn indexer collection of fixed number of homogeneous data elements have you observed right so it is a fixed number of means the size is always fixed next time after that here similar type of elements only you can next how you can differentiate these elements right by using index that's why beautiful definitions are all properties of array by default got covered an array is an index collection of fixed number of homogeneous data elements the basic introduction for all the people i hope it's a very clear for you people not required to keep much explanation so even internal loopholes, I didn't cover anything. Just the basic introduction to arrays. Any doubt? <coughs> Up to this, can you please confirm? Any doubt? Okay. Well, good. Sir, now I want to declare arrays. Okay. I want to. I want to declare arrays. Right. Array declaration. Array declarations. How you can declare declare arrays? Right. Sir, very simple single dimensional array declaration sir i thought that all these basics what the need why we have to cover line but in java 11 certification i don't know the reason these minor points also they are giving very much importance points. so that's why compulsory you should aware sir one way here this is the way we can declare now one dimensional array sir just i'm declaring an array one dimensional array so this is uh, uh, this is one way right next uh, second way second way okay like uh, this is also very now the third way the third way okay like this is also valid have you observed right so here one dimensional integer a is a one dimensional integer a sir here uh, yeah, one dimensional array a is of intertype 
one dimensional array a is of inter time are you getting right so now take very special care all these things are perfectly valid but which one is the recommended usually which approach you are always following just only for decalization only for decalization which approach you are always following yes highly recommended better to go for first one better to go for first one the reason for that is here variable name here variable name is clearly separated from the type sir a is of one dimensional integer so name of the variable is clearly separated from type of the array remember this one but here one dimensional array a is of inter type sir name of the variable is mixed with the dimension so that's why even syntactically legal but this one is the recommended remember right okay how to declare some people whenever i covered this concept in the regular offline session sir erase concept is it applicable only for int only for int like some students ask no boss any type you can use <laughs> string array it is also acceptable string array this array can hold string values student array student array this array can hold student objects remember this one char array this array can hold the char values like so don't feel it is applicable only for int type for any type it is always possible it may be primitive type it may be object type clear <coughs> yeah thoda thoda clarity agaya i hope so how you can declare how you can declare arrays this is the, this is the possibility right next uh, there are some two important loopholes are there for those loopholes take a bit special care the first thing what i am trying to take sir i am taking in this style int array a i am taking int my intention is was i want an int array to hold the five values i want an int array to hold five values five values this is about my requirement right what i am trying to take like this can you please confirm is it valid or invalid very important for the exam sake good good mama very important for the exam sake is it valid or invalid so 100 percent pakka this is invalid take a bit special care here the time of declaration here the time of declaration you have to specify the type and the dimension but not the size remember by mistake here the time of declaration if you are specifying the size immediately Container error you are going to get sir. By mistake, if you are taking like this, immediately container error you are going to get. Remember this one. Here the time of error declaration, we can't specify the size. By mistake, if you are trying to specify the size, immediately container error you are going to get. Remember, yeah. So it's the most valuable, very important things, right? Sir, now observe, observe a bit carefully. Here I'm taking int here. Yeah, just I took, I took like this, right? Sir, now observe, observe a bit carefully about about this terminology. Here, if if I'm trying to compile, no problem, acceptable. <clears throat> no issue, acceptable. But if I can take size of five, size of five, immediately compiler is ready to give left and right. Observe carefully, right? Here, so square bracket is expected, but not five. It is not a statement. It is illegal start of expression. Like the compiler is going to give left. And right that's why at the time of your declaration we can't specify we can't specify okay the size of the array remember right okay then we have to specify the sizes are whenever you are creating an array whenever we are creating an array suppose i want to create an array by using new operator here compulsory we have to specify the size remember that by mistake by mistake if you are not specifying the size immediately combined another we are going to get that take very special care so here by creating array size must be required not while declaring array any doubt Clear right? 
Default size concept is not there, Baska. Default size concept is not there. Just we are talking about the collection, that's all, but not the creation. Even by creating also default size is not applicable. Okay, so that's all. This is how to declare one dimensional array. What are various possibilities are there? Okay, next and after that, at the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. By mistake, if you are trying to specify the size, immediately error we are going to get. Clear? Okay. Now, the next thing, how you can declare two-dimensional arrays? How you can you can declare two-dimensional two dimensional arrays, right? Okay. Two-dimensional arrays. Two-dimensional, what are various possibilities are there, sir? Very, very simple. <coughs> uh, Okay, Shubham, uh, we will discuss that part. Don't worry, it, it is there. Just within a minute, within few minutes of that concept, I will discuss about two strings. Don't worry. Here, two-dimensional array is there. How you can declare two-dimensional array? Just we are talking about, just we are talking about, so how you can declare the just a array's concept? Two-dimensional array, how you can? Okay, here just of the in the two-dimensional array, okay. This is the first option, right? Now, the second way, just to observe carefully. Here, here, just we are taking, here, this is another way. Here, just I'm taking, this is a third way. Observe, are you, are you seeing any difficulty to understand after this? You can specify dimension, two dimension, eh? yes, after the type, or after the variable, or before the variable. Next, I'm taking, in this style, in this style, next uh, I'm taking uh, here just uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to take in this in this style, okay. Next and after that, I'm taking a okay, like can you please confirm among these which are valid, which are invalid? Yes, Shubham Rakesh, among these which are valid, which are invalid. Good, good, good. All the people are in the sink, okay, hundred percent pakka. All these things are perfectly valid. All possible combinations and permutations are perfectly valid. But uh, we are using always recommended to use first one friends. Okay, because here the name of the variable and the type of the variable clearly separated. More relatability. That's why all these things are perfectly valid. Don't worry at all. Okay. Now three-dimensional arrays. Okay. Can you please just take one minute time? And uh, in how many ways uh, three dimensional array we can declare? Can you please, uh, can you please uh, check? Can you please uh, try? Take one minute time and then tell. At last, the totals are these many ways I can declare all, all possible three dimensional array. So assume that, assume that three dimensional array is like that. Just I specified first one. So, total in how many ways we can declare two dimensional, three dimensional array? Please, can you please take paper and a pen? Please, and tell total how many ways we can declare. Total how many ways? Total how many ways? Oi, ready, Srinivas. Don't tell. If you are telling 27 ways, then I will ask 27. Can you please tell? Don't do. Permutations. <laughs> Redis Rinvas. Don't uh, do that. Uh, just. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I will ask you 27. Can you please tell the ways? Yes, everyone tried. Please confirm. Everyone tried. Yes, friends. Everyone tried, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, Abhishek. Good. 
I hope everyone tried. Some people are telling 27 ways, some people are telling 9 ways, some people are telling 8 ways. Are you try, man. Try and fix uh, some number. Write on the paper. Take paper and pen and uh, tell some number. I want to legend only one number, not uh, multiple. If multiple options are there, then I, won't, I may not ask this question. Yeah. Please confirm. Okay, 10 ways. Perfect. Okay, just observe that. The first way already I told. The first way already I told. Second way. Here just observe that. Uh, here A. This is the second. Next and after that, third one. Third one. Okay, this is the third one. Next, uh, fourth one, sir. Fourth one. Here one, not uh, two dimension. Next, uh, one dimension like this. Next, uh, here two dimension. Two dimension. And then one dimension after this. Okay. Next, uh, here one dimension. Next, uh, two dimension here. Okay. Next, uh, here one dimension. Next, uh, one dimension. One dimension like that. Next, uh, here one dimension. Next, uh, here two dimensions like that. Next, uh, here nothing. Two dimension. Uh, here like that. Next, uh, here one dimension. A two dimensions like that. Can you please cross check total how many, how many came? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's all. These are only possible ways to represent a three-dimensional array. All are, all are syntactically perfectly valid, friends. Don't worry at all. It's a, it's a perfectly valid. Okay? So, like, uh, itself, itself is acceptable. Any doubt? <clears throat> Any doubt about this? So like uh, four dimension, five dimension, uh, like you can you can take any any other dimension also, no issue at all, sir. Sir, now the next thing what what I have to discuss is just observe this. So I told at the time of declaration we can't specify the size. By mistake, if you are trying to specify the size, uh, Muhammad, uh, any example of four dimension, get it. Just try once. If you are not going to get, definitely I will explain. Okay, four dimension, the same style. Whatever I took for three dimension, the same style better to better to take. Okay, if if uh, you you are not in a position, uh, okay, to find out the base, then I will explain. Don't worry. Sir, now observe carefully. There is second important conclusion is there. This is also very important, friends. For the way is here I am taking int array int array a comma b I am taking. Sir. Can you please tell what is, uh, 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 yeah, correct, Muhammad? Correct. Whatever you are telling, it's a, it's a value. And then you can take all possible permutations and combinations for fourth dimension. Okay. Uh, Muhammad is uh, asking the doubt how you can declare fourth dimension. Okay. This is, uh, and then, and then you can continue all possible permutations and combinations. Okay. Based on that, you may generate some values. Even I, I never tried, but anyway, if you want, we, we can. Next up. Can you please observe that? Here, how many variables are there? Can you please confirm? How many variables? Two variables are there. A is a what type? One dimensional in the array. B is a what type? B, B is what type? Can you please tell? B is also one dimensional in the array. Because this type is applicable for this A and for this B for both both are one dimensional int arrays. Remember this one. So A is one dimension, A is one dimension, B is also one dimension. Okay, well. Now I'm taking int array, int array, array. Okay, like I'm taking array. Next, do you know A comma B I'm taking, sir? A comma B, B, like this I'm taking. Can you please confirm? A is a what dimension and the B is what dimension? Yeah, yeah, good. Everyone, please respond. Everyone, please respond. 100% pakka, it is valid. A dimension is a 2. B dimension is 1. The reason, the reason for that is, it is a common for both. Both. So for A, one dimension already came. Next, one more dimension is coming. So A dimension is Two dimension, A dimension is two dimension, two dimension, but the B dimension is only one dimension. Remember this one. Next, 
if i can take like this int array next a comma b like this i'm taking sir int array a comma b b like this can you please tell now a is what dimension and b is what dimension please confirm a is uh, two dimension a is two dimension b is what dimension b b is what dimension a is what a is a two what about b respond what about b <clears throat> yes the b dimension is yeah yeah the b dimension is okay two dimension two dimension okay both are two dimensions only there is no problem at all what is the reason for that is so if you specify dimension before the variable before the variable now this total is the dimension which is applicable for a and b this space is ignored by compiler remember this one sir that's why so before first variable if you specify dimension okay that the dimension is considered the total dimension only which is applicable for both the a and the b remember that okay some people may have the bigger doubt here sir how you can just uh, one minute friends i'm taking int and then a comma b a comma b sir a is equal to new int of like like i'm taking sir so three followed by four i'm taking uh four four i'm trying to take b is equal to new int of some three i'm taking now observe is this code is valid or not yes please confirm is it valid or not valid if if a is a two dimensional array now i'm assigning to two dimensional array b is a one dimension yes uh, sorry sorry b is a two dimension B is also two dimension. That's why right. I'm taking like this. Now observe. So as per as per our discussion, A and B both are two dimensional arrays. That's why we are trying to assign yes two dimension for A, two dimension for B. Definitely it should be valid. If you want, just we won't get any error at all. Have a look once. Perfectly itself is valid because both are two dimensional arrays. Yes, are you in the position to see the code? Confirm. Are you in the position to see the code? Perfectly, it should be acceptable. No problem at all. <clears throat> okay. Now the next step. Here, just observe. Observe this a bit carefully, sir. Next, uh, I'm taking something like integer, integer. A, I'm taking comma B, I'm taking, sir. Can you please tell? A is what dimension? B is what dimension? Good. Respond. A is what dimension? And B is what dimension? Sorry, 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 sir. One minute, one minute. Because we covered already this combination. Yeah. Now, A is what dimension? And B is what dimension? <clears throat> Good. Excellent. <laughs> Sayyad, Abhishek, Jani, Anket. Hmm, good, good. Vimal. Yes, what is the body da? A. What is the dimension? B is what dimension? So think a bit very carefully. Sir, the last two lines are very, very important. Yes, last two lines are very, very important. Okay, here, A. Here, here, we are taking dimension before the variable. We are taking dimension before the variable, before the variable. If I take a dimension before the variable, before the variable, now this dimension is considered as a total dimension and a and the b. So both are two dimensional arrays. Okay, man. but here, I'm taking dimension before the second variable. So this one, I have to mix with this. But in the middle, A is there. If only space is there, compiler can ignore. But here, but here, A is also there. So it can't ignore. That's why before the variable, if you want to specify dimension before the variable, 
if you want to specify dimension that capacity is available only for the first variable but not for the second variable if you want to specify so dimension before the variable that facility is applicable only for the first variable but not for the second variable by mistake if you are trying to take like this immediately compiler will get left and right <laughs> yeah just uh, have a look once uh, what compile time error you are going to get so immediately error by default you are getting are you saying right identify is expected or semicolon is expected something like a uh, compile time error you are going to get but take very special care about this uh, terminology are you getting the point okay now have a look once uh, sir i declare something like uh, Int array. I declare. I declare something like a uh, int int array int array a comma a comma b comma c comma uh, d uh, uh, here d like this I'm taking and uh, here also like like I'm trying to take. Sir, have you observed right? Have you observed? If you want to declare a dimension before the variable, this facility is applicable only for the first variable, but second variable invalid. Third variable invalid. Fourth one invalid. Compile time error we are going to get sir. So if you want to specify dimension before the variable, you have to specify only before the first variable. Before the first variable, that's all. These are two important conclusions. Maybe a chance, sir. Sir, you should aware. Maybe a chance to ask in the exam. Clear, friends? Any doubt? So, in how many ways we can declare erase concept? In, in how many ways we can declare erase concept? Next, uh, so what are two important loopholes are there? The first important loophole is at the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. By mistake, if you are trying to specify the size, compile time error. Next, uh, before the variable, if you want to specify the dimension, yes, it should be. Uh, yes, uh, yes, it should be only for first variable, but not for the remaining variables. Remember that. By mistake, if you are taking for second variable or third variable, immediately error we are going to get. Uh, please confirm up to this if you are not having the doubt then i will go for next cinema for the most valuable concept next more concentration must be required from your side can i <clears throat> can i move to the next level okay good sir now observe so up to this yes we declared the array but we didn't construct now let me talk about array construction array construction let me let me talk about this one sir so just we declare here a array that's all but we didn't construct a construction okay like so now i want to create here a array so first important thing is every array every array in java in java is an object remember this one every array in java is an object sir itself is an object sir okay in there a is equal to new integer after. So here do you know how you can create array? Can you please tell? How you can create by using which operator? How you can, if you want to create an array by using which operator? New operator, right? New operator we can use to create object. That's why every object, every object, every array in Java is an object only because we are creating by using new operator. Remember this one. So if, if you have this one, then immediately in your mind, how the representation is, do you know, size three, size, size three, uh, sir, it is an object. Next up of this object, A is the reference variable like this, you should have. So, wherever array is there, immediately in your mind, oh, it is an object. Oh, it is an object. That feeling, definitely you have to get. Clear? So, is it, is it an object or not? Yes. Then immediately you ask, sir, if it is an object, because we can create object for classes only, because we can create object for classes only, classes only, sir, for every array, either corresponding classes, Java classes are available or not? Yes, friends. 
for every year a time corresponding java classes are there but it is the library level but not available to the programmer level at the part of java language the corresponding corresponding classes are available because you can create object means object creation is possible only for the class object creation is possible only for the class that's why so just uh, take a bit special care what i'm trying to do if if i have this array now the corresponding class name is you know square bracket i i remember this one what is this can you please spell out it is a one dimensional integer a square bracket i square bracket i i like this if it is a two dimensional integer a two dimensional integer a now the corresponding class is square bracket square bracket i square bracket square bracket i next if it is a double array double array then automatically square bracket capital d remember that are you getting double array square bracket capital d remember right okay so take a bit special care for every array type internally corresponding classes are available then immediately you ask sir where is the proof where is the proof how you can how you can consider where is the proof for that very simple very simple observe this observe sir i created an array i created an array int array x is equal to new int array of three sir new int array of three so do you know if you have an object if you have an object reference variable is there i want to know corresponding class name ah this object is a what class i want to know corresponding class name very simple sir x dot x dot get the class x dot get the class oi can you please provide the corresponding class object so now you are going to get class object dot get the name dot get the name was what is the name name of that class so if you know object reference if you want to know corresponding class name then automatically you have to use this approach x dot get class dot get the name okay so now system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln x dot get the class dot get the name x dot get class dot get the name so what is the class name like that now observe what is the class name we are getting just compile spine no problem at all what is the class name we are getting square bracket i square bracket i because it is one dimensional array assume the two dimensional array assume two dimensional array of size of 4 assume 3 4 okay like that. now have a look once have a look once what the answer we are getting square bracket square bracket i okay now sir if these are internal class names you are not required to worry much but anyway just get basic basic idea you should you should aware sir suppose if it is a if it is a double array or if it is a, do you know if it is byte array byte byte array can you please tell the corresponding class name oi hey, respond if it is a byte array i want to represent 10 byte values okay byte array what is the corresponding class name square bracket Ah, good. Square bracket B. Capital. Perfect. If it is the Boolean array, if it is the Boolean array, array, what is the corresponding class name? <laughs> good man. The people are following well the videos. Okay. If it is the Boolean array, what is the corresponding class name, sir? Square bracket J. Okay. Because here, why, why it is, ah, uh, uh, why, ah, uh, here also B, here also B. That's why some people are expecting, ah, uh, here also B. No. Square bracket J. Z. Remember this one. So we have the proof for that. If you want, uh, just observe. Byte array x is equal to new byte array of three. I'm taking. Now what is the corresponding class name? If it is the byte array, if it is the byte array, what is the corresponding class name? Just observe that square bracket b b like. Next, uh, if it is a boolean array, if it is a boolean boolean array, okay. Now what is the answer we are going to get here? Yes, the code compiles fine. But answer we are going to get square bracket is it? If the string array may be different style, it is going to provide. Don't worry, sir. May be different style, it may it may provide. Now observe that. Now observe string array. Shubham. What answer we are going to get? Yes, sir. Sir, here we have done square bracket L Java dot like that string. Square bracket L Java dot like that string. Okay, for object type, sir. this a different style is going to come maybe maybe some uh, extra symbols are coming so maybe l means uh, maybe lang package or something like 
<coughs> so can i can i consider every array in java is an object ha ah. every array in java is an object next and after that okay for every array type corresponding classes are available but these classes are not uh, applicable to the programmer these are part of java language remember that the immediate ready srinivas is raising a good doubt sir class name is identifier class name is identifier so should not uh, contain square bracket symbol should not contain square bracket symbol correct class name is an identifier should not contain square bracket symbol okay please make sure if you are defining your own class names then you have to follow that convention okay it is part of java language internal naming convention that's why internally so yata part of java language they are not required to follow naming conventions then immediately are why your class why your class are not starts with uh, why it is it is containing square bracket symbol if you can ask java people simple java people are going to tell yeah my told to access this class why you are accessing this is for my internal sake that is renwas getting <laughs> okay so that is because they are not highlighting it is the library class they are not highlighting it is the our own class so yata part of java language internally they followed some convention why we have to object about that convention okay now that's all this is so just a basic idea now related to array creation there are some important loopholes are there some three to four loopholes take very very special care sir now all these things are very important so now i want to create an array i want to i want to i want to create an array uh, student student uh, if it is a student array what is the class name sir very simple <clears throat> uh, all all arrays are objects all objects will be stored in the heap area buster i am taking class student now if it is a student student array now what is the corresponding class name yes square bracket l student if it is a two dimensional student array but anyway we are not required to worry that much but still square bracket square bracket l student getting maybe why is that l is coming if it is the object type maybe any doubt up to this okay now the first rule what we have to the first rule what what we have to talk uh, swarup uh, it is a part of java language it is not a predefined library predefined library means java.lang package java.io package this is called api all api classes are predefined library okay swarup but uh, these array classes are part of java language not part of library also yeah now there are some three to four rules are there okay very important rules take a bit special care about the, these things for the exam very very important friends now the first one i'm taking int array x is equal to new int array like i'm taking int array can you please confirm is it valid or invalid respond is it valid or invalid ah invalid invalid because because yet the time of creating array compulsory we have to specify the size yet the time of creating array compulsory we should specify the size but we are not specifying the size that's why immediately compare the error we are going to get remember that so we should specify the size while creating array otherwise error we are going to get so by seeing this this code jvm feels jvm get shock hey can you please reserve memory reserve memory for how many elements without specifying the size how i have to reserve the memory immediately jvm is going to get in the shock that's why compiler uh, compiler is a uh, Uh, compiler compiler is always going to give left and right because it's a syntactical mistake remember that 
so if for at the time of ere creation at the time of ere creation creation we should not we should specify the size otherwise get yeah. so the first one is invalid but second one is valid clear any doubt about this one okay now my second point second second point i'm taking here see this int array x is equal to new int array of size is zero i'm taking please confirm is it valid or not yeah. is it valid or not? yes yes you have to you can you have to represent the array to hold multiple values of course my requirement is zero number of values my array contains zero number of values it shall be the valid valid sir best example for this best example what the can you please spell out what is the argument to the main method what is the argument to the main method string array string array command line argument command line argument sir how many times you are passing these command line arguments you may or may not if you are not passing command line argument what is the size of this array what is the size of this array zero where is the proof for that ask that length 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 variable represent the size of the array okay now have a look once the code compiles fine the code compiles fine now i'm not passing any command and argument then array will be created with how much size zero size are you saying zero zero similarly similarly uh, if 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 i can specify java test a b two command and arguments i'm passing <coughs> Two command line arguments I'm passing, then automatically two is the answer. Getting right? So that's why take a bit very special care. In array with zero size, it is legal in Java. Maybe sometimes we may require to have such type of arrays also. Example already I showed. If you are not passing any command line argument, now my command line argument string array with what size? Zero size. If size zero, then uh, new allocates how many bytes? Uh, Swarup. So for every object, some 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 predefined. For every object, uh, compulsory some some memory must be required. Are you getting some memory must be required? And uh, then based on the size, some more extra memory. But the minimum memory, whatever required for every object, that the minimum required memory will be allocated in this case. So don't feel zero size memory is going to be allocated. No. Yeah. Okay. Then. So take very special care. Next, Shubham. Uh, but if we try to store the value in it immediately, error we are going to get. Because, because if the zero size, you can't specify. Suppose by mistake, if I'm taking x of zero is equal to 10. Are it is the size zero in the can you please take first element at the 10 first element at the 10 immediately j uh, immediately jvm is going to give array pagal obaya pagal uh, here the size is zero zero means no element then how you can specify first element like uh, immediately array index out of bounds exception we are going to get a runtime exception yes take very special care someone if i'm trying to add if i'm trying to add the code compiles fine no syntactical mistake no syntactical mistake, but at runtime, Java array index out of bounds exception. Now you can access a zero index for size zero. You can't. Okay? Right. Yeah. This is the second thing what you should evade, sir. Next, the third one. Very important, sir. Can you please confirm? Is it, is it valid or invalid? New minus three size I'm taking, sir. In the array, x is equal to new integer ah uh, okay now uh, can you please confirm is it valid or invalid please respond what compile time error we are going to get what compile time error we will get good good most of the people are uh, referring my videos, good programming practice. Compulsory better to refer the videos as much as possible. Then you will get much confidence in the subject. Yeah. In this case, can you please confirm is it valid or invalid? Okay. Now take very special case, sir. Sir, compiler, 
compiler will always check will always check the syntax 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 next the uh, under types also of course the type is also part of syntax under types types these two things right so compiler is always going to worry about syntax under type in the here you have to specify size regarding you require to specify size size like now compiler duty is are you specifying in the size or not okay number of elements should be in the type number of elements should be in the type are you specifying in the in the in the in the value or not yes minus 3 by default in the type integral letter by default in the type in the type that's why so now size is in the in the type compiler is checking is it in the or not yes in the no problem then the code hand over to the jvm yet the run time jvm is the responsible to reserve the memory based on number of elements but how many number of elements are required minus 3 meaningless immediately yet the run time we are going to get negative array size exception are getting negative array size exception it is the run time exception but not the compile time error remember that right. any doubt <coughs> Any doubt about this? Yeah. Here just observe. Int array, x is equal to int array of minus 3. Minus 3. Are you provided int value or not? Type, type. Compiler is always going to check. Yes. Okay. The code compiles fine. No problem. But at runtime, JVM is going to get sharp because it is trying to reserve the memory for minus 3 number of elements. Immediately, runtime exception by default we are going to get. What that exceptions are? Negative size exception by default we will get. Any doubt? Next up, sir, can you please confirm? Is it valid or not? Interim x is equal to new interim of a valid or not? What is the size of this array? What is the size size of this array? 97. 97. Correct. 97. Remember, sir, array size is always what type array size is always what type inter type remember number of elements size means number of elements that number of elements is always int value is always int into value size this is always inter type inter type but here type of array can be anything no problem at all but how many number of elements we have to represent don't get confused type of the array is the different size is the different size is always in the type in the type only okay now my question is so if i'm expecting int then which type of values are allowed okay somewhere we covered this this type of diagram byte to short short to int int to long long to float float to double okay next char to int Okay, like that. this diagram we covered, sir. This is uh, implicit type casting. Wherever int value expecting, wherever int value expecting, you can provide byte, you can provide short, you can provide char, you can provide int. Remember that. So, become byte, short, char, all these things will be promoted to int type automatically we are not required we are not required not required to specify we are not required to perform any type casting but long float double these are things sir, won't convert to int type automatically that's why so wherever int is expecting you can provide byte short care int but the long float double these things are perfectly invalid remember that's why to specify array size you can use byte value you can use short value you can use care value so you can use int value okay that's why it is but long float double these are invalid okay if i can take like uh, 
perfectly this one in the values are what is the size what is the what is the what is the size of this array what is the size length of length of this array here if you want system dot out dot print then okay x dot length i'm taking now observe now what is the answer we are going to get yes here just 97 97 perfectly itself is the value but now my question is sir here i'm taking byte b is equal to 10 and then here i'm taking b is it valid or not by b is equal to 10 i'm taking b b is what type by type byte is allowed because byte can be converted to into type no problem at all okay now available for no syntactical mistake what is the value is a 10 itself is acceptable okay now here i'm taking 20 uh, sorry here i'm taking short assume that this b is the short type acceptable acceptable now uh, have a look acceptable anyway int is by default acceptable right? now i'm taking assume that is the uh, long assume that is the long can you please tell is it acceptable or not is it acceptable or not no chance at all no chance at all it's not acceptable not acceptable immediately error because long type arrays a uh, long type is not allowed can you please scratch check immediately incompatible type possible lossy conversion from long to int sorry it is invalid like that now immediately you may ask immediately you may ask sir why why okay why 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 long long float and double is not allowed because the reason is because the reason is sir here observe observe carefully float and double means float float and double means 10.5 or 10.6 something like this sir 10.5 number of elements i want to represent 20.6 number of elements i want to represent meaningless are you getting meaningless are right? 10 elements 20 element 30 element the number of elements is always whole number whole number 10.5 number of elements 20.6 number of elements meaningless that's why sir float and double for array size meaningless next long is the whole value but why it is not allowed what is the max value of i please confirm what is the max max value of i the max value of i is uh, i mean inter type inter type is 21 47 48 36 36 47 this is the max value 21 47 48 36 47 this is the max value so are you can take these many number of elements sir, because int is allowed these many number of elements sir. is there any programming requirement more than this number of elements inside here can you please observe is there any programming requirement more than more than this number of elements no no so that's why are you up to int enough you are not required to, you are not required beyond that because such a type of requirements never be such a type of requirements never be okay take special care that's why the array size in java is restricted to up to int type remember that okay now can you please tell is it valid or invalid Oh, respond. Is it valid or invalid? Ah, good. Is it valid or invalid? Hundred percent pakka. This is valid. This is valid. But here, listen, listen carefully. Tomorrow you may ask the doubts. Ah, you told that it is valid. Ah, it is. It, it is a valid. Like now, perfectly. Hundred percent pakka. It is a synthetically valid. You never going to get any problem. The code compile is fine. The code compile is fine. Valid. But the problem here is okay. These are many number of elements you want to represent. So these many number of elements, sir. These many number of int values. Int means four bytes, sir. Array this much into four bytes, sir. Minimum memory is required. This much memory may not be available in my system. Okay, then, then you may get the problem. Now, Abja. Now, compile is fine. At runtime, memory problem may may rise. Sir, it is the problem with the memory, not problem with the Java. Remember, Java is the perfectly valid. It's a syntactically valid. But the problem is, if our memory is sufficient, memory is not available. That's why I can't do anything. Okay? It is a problem with your system, not problem with the Java. So the max allowed array size in Java is 21, 47, 48, 36, 47. Because the max allowed array type is int only. By using int, this is the maximum value what we can represent.
Any doubt? How to handle large data? If you want to handle large data, don't store in the form of arrays. Better to go for persistent storage, like databases. Okay, big data technologies, these kind of things. Because array object, where it will be stored, sir, inside heap area. Heap area is always fixed. Heap area is always fixed, fixed. Then at certain point, definitely the problem is going to come. Yani, EP the part of JVM, JVM is the part of RAM. Okay, RAM memory is always fixed. Then uh, memory problems at certain point it, it will rise. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Shubham. Uh, there are some what is the max uh, yeah, memory area, uh, what is the heap area, how to change the heap area size, like that. Just uh, there are some commands are there, but anyway, as of this discussion, not applicable. Okay, just uh, check in our videos, uh, uh, JVM architecture, there I explained all those things. But for the exam sake, it's not required. If you can increase your RAM, definitely it's going to work. Vima, correct. <coughs> if data is coming from database table, not recommended to store in our Java objects. Okay, total data not recommended to store in Java objects. Read one record, use that, and uh, go for next record, use that, like. Clear, right? Jani. You, you want to store you won't you won't store in java objects what you are program a requirement you want to process the records which are coming from which are which are coming from database if you want to process which are coming from the database so maybe millions of records are going to come i can't what i will do take pagination concept something like that take uh, some 10 records process completed next take 10 records process submit the result next take some records process submit the result something like that all millions of records I want to store in my Java objects. What's the kind of programming practice? That program never runs. Okay, that's all. So this is very, very important point, right? Now I have one small doubt. So 21, 47, 48, 36, 47, is it valid in value or not? I mean, is it is syntactically, is it valid or not? Syntactically, is it valid or not? Yes, valid, no problem, right? But now, 48 I'm taking. Is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? Uh, remember that, remember that. So, immediately invalid. What the reason is, every integral lateral, every integral lateral, lateral by default intertype. Have you remembered right? Every integral lateral by default inter type. If you want to specify explicitly long time, compulsory should answer with a small l or capital L. But by default is inter type under this value should be in the range of inter. inter. By mistake, if it is not in the range of inter, you didn't use a small l or capital L, compile the method which you are going to get. Not array index out of bound. First, syntactically, it is invalid. Syntactically, it is it is invalid, sir. What, what may be, what here observe, sir, int x is equal to, like I'm taking. So, by default, every integral lateral is of int type. Compulsory, this value should be in the range of int. But it's not in the range of int. Have you observed, right? Integer number too large, like you are going to get. Integer number too large, like you are getting. So, are you, please consider this one as the long, then you have to use L. Now it is going to tell long value can't assign to the int. If you are not using L, it is not treated as the long. Remember that. Okay? Possible lossy conversion from long to int. So, every integral lateral, by default int type, compulsory the value should be in the range of int. So, if you want to beyond the Beyond int, if you want to use compulsory suffix with L, then it is treated as a long. If you can assign this long value to long variable, 
too long variable you never going to get any problem okay that's it but anyway just to take a bit special care sir related to our arrays what rules are there at the time of creating array compulsory we have to specify the size compulsory we report we report to specify the size otherwise compact amount of we are going to get next uh, zero size array later if you are by mistake if you are specifying the array size with the negative into value so no compact error but at run time we are going to get negative array size exception okay like uh, next are the only yellow data types to specify array size are byte is allowed short is allowed byte is allowed short is allowed int is allowed carry is allowed these are four data types are allowed to specify array size because all these things are can be converted to int type long float double such type of array sizes are not possible okay like the max allowed array size in java is 21 47 48 36 47 okay next to jani is there any programming way to find max value of max value max value range of int very simple very very simple uh, do you know for every primitive the corresponding wrapper classes are there okay integer is the corresponding wrapper class okay integer that max value integer that max value max max value what is the max value of the int what the max max value of the int int like this if i can take now observe here system dot out dot print length okay integer dot max value now observe what is the max value of the int now have you observed 21 47 48 36 47 programming way to check what is the max value of int for the min value of int okay like for everything you can check like this yeah that's all so just the arrays how you can create one dimensional array what are various important loopholes are there okay like uh, so in the next uh, we how to we have to discuss about uh, what what we will talk about some more things so don't worry <clears throat> mm. ready srinivas is asking what advantage that we we, we get with the arrays when compared with collections so uh, accessing array elements uh, what is uh, very faster than accessing collection elements ready srinivas accessing array elements is very very speedily we can access when compared with collection elements that's why performance improvements are there if you use arrays when compared with collections okay right friends that's all thanks for everyone tomorrow we'll meet for the continuation